Hello, this is YouTube 31Pockets, and I'd like to welcome everybody to part number 8 of John Deere 1032 Snowblower Restoration and Modification. This is going to be the continuation of part 7 in the setup and of the drive pulleys and the belts uh, to continue on with our snowblower project. Now after our first test, our first trial testing, I wasn't satisfied with the way that the limiters performed so we've made a few more advances on the system so I'm going to show you what we did next. Okay where we first got started this limiter right here was in the first test trial bent down about a quarter of an inch lower than where it's at now so I moved this up and now we can see it helps push our belt a little bit further into the pulley. Now what we want to make sure we do is to have this belt away from this point because the engine's twirling this way and if it's in here it'll snag and catch on the belt even though it is in its neutral state as we can see right now. Now our next major step that we performed is we reinstalled our auger, our lower auger pulley brake. Now we cut that off in one of the other episodes and I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to reuse it but we got lucky and you can see the shaft that it rides on which is right here. This shaft was over further that way uh, closer to our belt and it was came it was mounted before where our new pulley because it's larger in diameter than the original would bump into this shaft so I moved it over and then had to trim the end of the arm right here this little piece I had to cut off so it would refit in here because it was a little bit too long it, it bumped into the end of the deck so now this unit is performing and operating smoothly. Now in the test trial when we were engaging and disengaging the augers you could see if you review the tape you can see that the auger pulley even though the auger was disengaged did not want to stop rotating um, quick enough and what would happen or what could happen is these when it's disengaged the belts are now loose and they start to flutter and they can shred themselves easily and rip themselves to pieces because of the new extreme high horsepower that this engine produces. So our next step is I'm going to restart it and show you how the improvements are working on this and also as a reminder of safety is to never have your hands anywhere near or try and adjust these pulleys or any of these mechanisms while you're testing and engaging and disengaging the auger because this thing is nothing less than radically dangerous as another reminder. So we're going to go ahead and start it up so you can take a look at it.
Well, we're just about out of time for this episode, so we'll go over a few of the things that we've gotten finished. Our main thing is was our belts and our limiters, and we've reinstalled and remodified to fit our auger braking system and inspected and checked out the work that we did to rebuild the original auger. Now our next episode we're going to be building and making a new belt cover. Our original belt cover is a little bit too short. The new engine is about an inch and a half to two inches taller. Now we're, the crankshaft exits the block so our old pulley and belt cover is no longer usable and some of the other things we're, we'll be doing is engine setup and a little bit more work to the deck and reinstalling our turret so anyways till next time thanks for watching